Is a 6700 XT faster or as good as a RTX 3070? Launch day benchmarks seem to suggest both yes and no. How much should you really pay for an RX 6700 XT? Let's get into it. I did a video prior to the launch of the RX 6700 XT analyzing the performance on what looked like a legitimate leak at WCCF Tech. The title claimed the performance of the RX 6700 XT is faster than an RTX 3070. That was the same impression AMD wanted you to take away when they announced the card at their Where Gaming Begins Episode 3 event. I was skeptical. When I estimated the performance of the RX 6700 XT based on the number of compute units, I estimated that it would score about 12,000 in time spy. Well, it turns out that the average is just under 12,000. That places it just above a 3060 Ti and well behind the 3070. You can watch my previous video on AMD's announcement event to get the details. However, on launch day, the gaming benchmarks really showed a wide range of performance. Some where it was better than a 3070, and some where it was worse than a 3060 Ti. It really did depend on which games were benchmarked. Some of the larger reviewers showed a performance benchmark with somewhere between the 3060 Ti and 3070. However, most reviewers only benchmarked a handful of games. Because of the wide swings in performance, it really would take a large 35 to 40 game benchmark to get a clear picture of the performance level. Well, now we have that. Steve over at Hardware Unbox just completed a huge 45 game benchmark comparing the 6700 XT to the 3070. I was surprised to see someone invest that amount of time to benchmark that many games since the cards will sell out anyways due to the mining boom. So thank you Steve. Just to refresh, the chart I showed based on the leak at WCCF Tech was a 24 game benchmark and if you calculate the average, you would say that the 6700 XT beats the 3070 by 1.4%. I mean, that was a 24 game benchmark and it looks pretty convincing. However, in that video, I said that in a larger set of games, the performance would be closer to the 3060 Ti than the 3070. That was because it seemed we already saw the best of the best numbers in AMD sponsored titles and that it was similar to what we saw at AMD's 6700 XT announcement event. I took the liberty of taking Steve's numbers to put them in the same type of chart as before to compare. If you want to see the actual numbers, I would suggest you go over and watch Steve's fantastic video. I'll leave a link in the description below. As you can see, if you just glance at the chart, you would conclude the 6700 XT is not faster than a 3070. To show the impact of sample size, let's consider if we only looked at the first 15 games in Steve's benchmarks. If you calculate the average, you would conclude that the 6700 XT is 2% faster. Then, if you moved from a 15 game average to a 25 game average, then you would conclude that the 6700 XT is 2% slower. Now, add 10 more games to the benchmarks for a 35 game benchmark average and you would say that the 6700 XT is now 4% slower than the 3070. Finally, for the big 45 game benchmark, the 6700 XT is 8% slower than the 3070, which brings it closer to a 3060 Ti in terms of performance. For the large variation in performance we have seen, you really need to have a large sample size to really gauge performance. The larger the sample size, the more accurate the average will be as it reduces the effects of outliers. Now if you only play the games on the left, then for you the 6700 XT is the better performing card. But if you play a wider range of games, then this at least provides the performance level you can expect as compared to the 3070. On another note, the performance comparison of the 6700 XT to its predecessor, the 5700 XT, has also been included. In my previous video, I stated I expected the performance to be about 25-30% to better, and Steve found the performance to be 29.5% better. That sounds nice as a generational upgrade until you realize the cost increased by 20%. So the performance per dollar value is definitely not there with the 6700 XT. By the way, if you learned something from this video and would like to see more, then please hit that like button and consider subscribing with notifications on so that I, along with the YouTube algorithm, will know you would like to see more content like this. Why is establishing the performance so important? Price. It sets the range for what you should pay for the 6700 XT. The prices by the AIBs have been ridiculously marked up from $600 to $800, which is the same price range as the 3070. If you hear enough times that the 6700 XT performs as good as the 3070, then you would conclude that you should pay as much as the 3070. But if it performs closer to a 3060 Ti, then you should pay closer to a 3060 Ti price. That is the same thinking that will drive prices after the post-pandemic GPU mining crash era. Now I understand some people are okay with paying more than MSRP, 
they just want to get a GPU, and I'm not here to judge. This is just information to help set your expectations later on if you want to sell your GPU. Look, I didn't make this video to slam AMD or the 6700 XT. The 6700 XT is a fine card. I made it to set realistic expectations on what you should pay. This is the first question I asked myself. How much should I be willing to pay for the GPU given the performance level and I just thought I would share. With the price range from $479 to $849, we have an unprecedented price range that we have never seen before by AIBs, and that should never exist for a gaming graphics card. However, these GPUs are also used for crypto mining, so the miners are bidding up the prices and are willing to pay more based on the return on investment. And now AIBs want to cash in instead of handing all the profits to the retailers. When the mining bubble bursts, Pricing will return back to normal and the top end 6700 XT should not cost more than the 6800 non XT. If you think about it, at MSRP pricing, the 6800 non XT is a much better value since you get 50% more compute units and 33% more VRAM for just 20% of the money. If you want to see some similar analysis videos, click on one of these. Thank you all so very much for watching. Stay safe out there and I will see you in the next one.